In order to perform the repair in this video, you need to have some prior knowledge in electronics and especially in uh, SMD soldering and desoldering. This is the part number of the screen I am repairing, but this screen was fitted in numerous models of Opel, so um, this will be a generic video on how to repair these screens. The issue with this particular screen is that sometimes, uh, in, especially in cold weather, the screen would not turn on at all uh, or it would um, lose some minutes. This assembly was not very difficult. You have uh, to pry some plastic tabs with a flathead screwdriver. You have to be very careful not to break them. And you also have to be very careful with the flex cable. After you finish with the repair, it's also a good uh, time to check the lamps. These are known to go, to go bad in these screens. And while it is generally not a good idea to take measurements uh, of components on the PCB because they interact with other components, I did it anyway. And while these capacitors seem to have the right capacitance, the ESR meter shows that they have high ESR value compared with brand new components I had in stock and tested on my ESR meter. Then it was time to replace the old components and I used uh, the snipping method to remove the SMD capacitors from the board. I don't recommend uh, desoldering them because the traces are a bit sensitive and might lift off the PCB. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, I'm going to upload more repair videos soon.